Hello everybody, welcome to my tutorial on how to start up the Cessna 172. So here we are, loaded up at Moorabbin Airport in the Cessna 172, and I've got my checklist here on the left, which I'll be looking off and explaining what each of the things are. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is check the weight and balance. is this one so what we need to do is make sure that we have the enough fuel in for whichever flight we want to do and have it pretty much set up so that there's the weight in the aircraft is how we want it to be then we want to set the parking brake which is down underneath here so as you may see the yoke is in the way to get rid of it in most simulators you either press where the yoke joins with the the dashboard bit of the cockpit or actually press on the yoke in this one you press there okay so now we need to set the parking brake which is down here so if it's pulled out it's set on and the parking brake is pretty much a the, does the same thing as a handbrake on a car so now the next thing we want to do is set the ignition which is this key here and the avionics which is here which powers the uh the radios and all the instruments we need to have them off so the avionics are switched off and the keys pointing to the off position on the ignition now we want the master switch on so we've turned on the battery and the alternator, which will recharge the battery once the engine's on. Now we want to check the fuel quantity, which is right here. And it should be roughly the same. We need to make sure that it is the same with how much fuel we put in. So as we can see here, we put in just over half, which is about the same on the fuel gauge. Then we need to set the ultimate alternate static pressure valve to off, which is down here under the throttle. This one we are uh, so if it is pulled, so if it is pulled like that, then that means that it is on. We want it to be off like that. So now we need to check the enunciator panel, which is these these lights up here. So there's a switch to the right of it. You need to pull that switch up to the test position and all the lights start flashing. Then once that happens, put it down to the bright or dim position, whichever one you want. And then the uh, correct lights should stay on and then the fuel selector valve which is down underneath the throttles should be both so the Cessna 172 along with most other general aviation aircraft have two fuel tanks one in the left wing and one in the right wing if you set the fuel selector valve switch to left it will take fuel from the left wing only if you set it to right, the right wing only, and if you set it to both, it'll take fuel from both tanks. Uh, the fuel shutoff valve should be on or pushed in. So if the fuel shutoff valve is pulled out, then no fuel will be getting into the engine. But now that it's pushed in, fuel can get to the engine. Now we need to extend the flaps, which is down here, next to the second yoke. So, if I just... So there we, so there we have the flap lever there. And then to the left there, you can see the flap indicator. So right now I set it to 10 degrees of flaps. And what the flaps is, is it's basically... It ex makes it so the wing's larger. 
so that your airplane can fly at lower speeds. And then we turn the master switch off, the red switch, both of them off. We set the trim for takeoff, which is where that arrow is. There it is. I'm sorry, I didn't really explain that very well. So as you can see from this very grainy picture, on the right there is the the switch which you move to move the, the trim. And then just to the left of that, you can see a white line. That indicates what the trim is set to. And then to the left of that, there is a white triangle. What I was meaning is that for the trim to be set to take off, the white line needs to be roughly in line with the white triangle. So now we're on to the engine start. The throttle should be cracked. So it's down here. So there we are. So it's just on the mixture, which is controlling how much fuel gets into the engine when compared to air. That needs to be idle, so all the way out. You and then you need to turn on the master switch and the beacon light. So then you've got the beacon light on. This is telling anybody nearby that you're about to start your engine. Then you turn on the fuel pump, which is, it is what it says, it's a fuel pump. And then, so before we do this, so we'll turn on the fuel pump, set the mixture to rich, which means that there's a lot more fuel getting in. And then after that, we check here the fuel flow uh, gauge, which is to the right of the fuel gauge. So you can see there that wants to be in the green. And then I'll explain the rest. So, set the fuel pump to on. Mixture's rich. And we want the fuel flow to go up. We need to wait for it to stabilize. And then after three to five seconds, we set the mixture to idle and the fuel pump off. So now that there's fuel in the engine, we can go back down to our ignition and then turn this to start on the far right side. And then while it's starting, once it starts, we'll set the mixture, we'll push it in like this. And now that the engine started, we will gradually and smoothly push it in. So then once it's in, we need to check the oil pressure, which is underneath the fuel gauge on the right side. You can see there where it says oil then press. That needs to be in the green. Set the navigation lights to on, which Oh, here we are. So you can see the beacon light, which is the red light on the tail, and there should be a red light underneath the belly. And the nav lights are is the green light on the right wing tip, and the red light on the left wing tip, and the white light at the back. So then you set the avionics to on which then you'll see all the radios turn on and if any of them are still off they'll each have a switch to power each radio individually uh, retract the flaps and then you are ready to go and take off. I hope you enjoyed that video. This was filmed in FSX with the A2A Cessna 172. Uh, it should be pretty much the same no matter which simulator you use, whether it's the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 
prepared, explained, it doesn't matter. It should be the same. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.